Macavity the Mystery Cat by T S Eliot Thomas Turns Eliot was a poet, essayist, publisher, playwright, literary critic and editor. Eliot's landmark poem which would bring him to a wider audience was The Wasteland, published in 1922. Macavity, the mystery cat, written by T.S. Eliot, is a long poem about a villainous and wicked cat. The poem describes how he manages to commit all types of crimes and always escapes from being caught. Macavity is a mystery cat. He is called the hidden paw, for he is the master criminal who can defy the law. He is the bafflement of Scotland Yard, the flying squad's despair. For when they reach the scene of crime, Macavity is not there. Macavity, Macavity, there is no one like Macavity. He is broken every human law. He breaks the law of gravity. His powers of levitation would make a fakir stand. And when you reach the scene of crime, Macavity is not there. You may seek him in the basement. You may look up in the air. But I tell you once and once again, Macavity is not there. Macavity, a ginger cat, he is very tall and thin. You would know him if you saw him, for his eyes are sunken in. His brow is deeply lined with thought. His head is highly domed. His coat is dusty from neglect. His whiskers are uncombed. He sways his head from side to side with movements like a snake and when you think he is half asleep he is always wide awake Macavity, Macavity there is no one like Macavity for he is the fiend in feline shape a monster of depravity you may meet him in a by street you may see him in the square but when a crime is discovered, then Macavity is not there. Explanation of the poem Macavity the Mystery Cat Macavity is a master criminal in the shape of a cat who can defy and break any law. The poet calls him a mystery cat and a hidden paw. The poet says that he defies law again and again, but he is never caught. Even the police force and the flying squad of England have failed to arrest him. When the flying squad reaches the scene of crime, Macavity is not there. So the Scotland Yard is puzzled. In committing crimes, no one is like Macavity. He is matchless in his field. He can do any impossible task. He can disappear. He can break Newton's law of gravity and float in the air without support. Even the fakir and the magician are surprised to see his feats. He will outfit you. You may look for him in the basement and in the air. You will have no access to him. Macavity is a tall and thin cat. His eyes are sunken and his head is highly toned. His coat is dusty and his whiskers are uncombed. He moves fast like a snake. Macavity is a devil in that shape. He is morally corrupt. When you think he is sleeping, he is wide awake in fact. You may meet and see him everywhere. But whenever his crime is discovered, you will not find him there. He is outwardly respectable. They say he cheats at cards. And his footprints are not found in any pile of Scotland Yard. And when the lad is looted, or the drum case is rifled, or when the milk is missing, or another pickle is being stifled, 
or the greenhouse glass is broken and the trellis past repair, age is the wonder of the thing, maturity is concerned. And when the foreign offers find the tree trees go astray, or the admiralty lost some plants and drawings by the way, there may be a scrap of paper in the hall or in the stairs, but useless to end the speaking, Macavity is something. And when the loss has been disclosed, the secret soul is safe. It must have been Macavity, but he is a mile away. You will be sure to find him resting or a licking of his thumbs or engage in doing complicated long division sums. Macavity, Macavity, there's no one like Macavity. There never was a cat of such deceitfulness and suavity. He always has an alibi and one or two to spare. At whatever time the deed took place, Macavity wasn't there. And they say that all the cats who wicked deeds are widely known. I might mention Mangojire, I might mention Bridenpool, or nothing more than agents for the cat who all the time just controls their operations, the Napoleon of crime. The poet tells his crimes in this dancer. He says that Mekawiti is a hypocrite, very clever and cunning being, because his outward impression is respectable. No trace of his previous criminal record is found in the files of the detective agency like Scotland Yard. Several activities of loot are usually committed. For example, disappearance of eatables and milk from the cupboards, jewellery thefts at the gunpoint, strangulation, killing by pressing the throat of a small Chinese dog, peak, breaking of the greenhouse glass and trellis. But it is surprising that Macavity leaves no evidences of crime behind him. The poet continues describing Macavity's crime. When the foreign officer's treaty is not found or the admiralty loses some plans and drawing, it is useless to investigate as they all know that mastermind behind this act is undoubtedly Macavity. But Macavity is miles away from the scene of crime. The secret service might say that it is done by Macavity, but that is of no use. He will be half a mile away from the place of crime and may be relaxing or licking his thumbs or may be busy in solving the complicated sums of division. <laughs> Finally, the poet says that there had never been such a deceitful and tactful cat in the past. He is always ready to use an alibi, excuse or more. But he is not present at time of the crime. Then the poet mentions about other cats like Mangojiri and Griddlebone, whose wicked deeds were also known to people. But those were also the agents of Macavity, who controlled their actions. He is really the Napoleon of crime. Thank you.